Hello, welcome to chapter 8, lesson 6. We're going to write and graph inequalities. So two headings we'll be working on is write inequalities. And we are also going to graph an inequality. So the real world link, it says, look at the situations below. Circle the numbers that are the possible answers in each situation. Jessica spent more than $5 at the arcade. So these are the numbers that indicate that she spent more than $5 at the arcade. So it could be any of these answers. Number two, less than six people rang the bell on the mallet game. So less than six people. These are the numbers that are less than six. Number three. There were less than 10 people in line for the Ferris wheel. So it could be any number less than 10. Number four, it costs more than six tokens to ride the bumper cards. So it could be anywhere from seven to 15. Number five, there are less than eight lemonade stands. So we have all the numbers less than eight. Six, there are more than 12 different flavors of taffy, so we're going to do those. Describe any pattern you see in exercises one through six. So one pattern I noticed was I always circled the number that was next to the number in the problem. So all these numbers are the same, and I always circled a number next to it. So I circled all the numbers on either side. of the given number. So we are going to write inequalities. You can write an inequality to represent a situation. So example one, write an inequality for each sentence. You must be over 12 years old to ride the go-karts. So if I must be over 12 years old, so I know my age needs to be greater than 12 in order to ride the go-karts. A pony is less than 14 and 2 tenths hands tall. So a pony is less than 14 and 2 tenths. Number three, you must be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. So my age, I have to be 16 years old or older, so I have to be greater than or equal to 16. So I can be 16 years old or older. So go ahead and try A, B, C, and D. I'm actually going to do this with you after reading this. So A, I have to be, my age has to be greater than 13 to play in the basketball league. For B, use to use one stamp, your domestic letter must weigh under three and a half ounces. So my stamp or I should say the weight of my letter needs to be under, so less than three and a half ounces. You must be over 48 inches tall to ride the roller coaster. So my height has to be greater than 48 inches. For D, you must be at least 18 years old to vote. So that means I can be 18 years old to vote. I could be 18 or older. So I have to be greater than or equal to 18. So now we're going to talk about graphing the inequalities. And I'm going to show you some secrets in graphing these. So 
We're going to start off with example four. Graph each inequality on a number line. So I'm going to make a little chart over here. If I am doing greater than or less than, when I graph, I use a open circle. Okay, the, there is nothing inside my circle. If I'm doing greater than or equal to, like in example five, or less than or equal to, when I graph, my circle must be closed. So it must be filled in. These are the two main things you, you're going to need to remember. Just know whenever I draw the line underneath, close the circle. So in example four, it says graph n is greater than nine. So I'm going to put an open circle at n and then use my inequality to determine which way I need to graph. In order to graph this, since my inequality is greater than, it is if I make an arrow out of that sign, it is pointing to the right. So I'm going to bold, I'm going to highlight everything to the right of 9 and put an arrow and then have an open circle. So I'm going to explain this one more time. So I have n is greater than 9. Now, this is just greater than. So when I go to the 9, I'm going to have an open circle. Now, I need to graph everything since it's greater than. This is my greater than symbol. And if I have to make an if I make an arrow out of the greater than, it points to the right. So I'm going to I'm going to bold everything on the right side of my 9. And this is me graphing my inequality. So 9 and then everything to the right of 9. So that means any number to the right of 9 can will work, will be a solution for my inequality. So if I do number 5, since it is a closed circle, because it is less than or, or equal to, that means my n could be 10 or anything less than 10. So I'm going to highlight everything on the left side. And remember, with the less than symbol, if I make an arrow, it points to the left. But any, in, any of these numbers can be my solution. So go ahead and try E and F. All right, so for A, we have A is less than 15. Since it's only less than, I'm going to have an open circle. And a less than symbol, if I make an arrow out of it, I'm going to color in everything to the left of 15. So any one of these numbers can be a solution for A, for my inequality. For F, B is greater than or equal to 7. So I'm going to go to my 7. I'm going to use a closed circle. And if I have a greater than symbol, it's pointing to the right. So I'm going to color everything to the right of it. So any of these numbers to the right of 7 or 7 will be a solution for my inequality. So example six, traffic on a residential street can travel at speeds of no more than 25 miles per hour. Write and graph an inequality to describe the possible speeds. So in a residential street, I can do 25 miles per hour. So I know that it's gonna have the or equal to sign. So my speed, has to be less than or equal to 25. So I get a 25 on my number line and I do a closed circle and I highlight all my numbers that are less than 25 miles per hour. But that is the end of the video, so thank you for watching.